Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. This is going to be a real time video of me doing my hair in some finger waves. I'm not going to speed it up so you can actually see me and what I do and how I do them on myself. I have a mirror on my bathroom door which helps me be able to see the back of my head and it also makes it easier. So you guys just watch along, watch me do my hair. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. As you can see, I had to switch combs. I want to mention that when you're doing your finger waves, it is so much easier when you use the wider side of the comb. Like how the combs have two sides. It have the side that the teeth are kind of closer together. And then you got the other side where it's more spaced out. That is the side you want to use that side because it moves your hair a whole lot easier. When I do finger waves on my hair, I do not use any mousse. My hair does be damp because I shampoo it first. And I only use gel. I only use Eco Style gel. And I use a lot because the mousse kind of curls up my hair when I use it. And it doesn't just help it lay. So I want to use the gel. So when I do that right there, the waves in the hair, it goes in the direction I want it to go. And when I create my wave, I sit my finger on it, I slide the comb, and I use my other finger to hold the ridge, and then I use, I smooth it out. I use my finger to push the wave in the direction that it's going, and then up under the wave, smooth it out. And if you keep watching, it's going to get like a time when you can really see what I'm talking about. Always add more gel. If your hair is thick and it's not doing what you want, use the gel. The gel is going to help you move your hair how you want to move it. For my hair. Like I said, my hair, it curls up when it gets wet. It doesn't like really too much get straight when it gets wet. So I need something to smooth my hair. So when it gets to the part when the hair is not really doing what I need to do, I always just add like a little more gel to it.
So right here, you see me using my middle finger to hold the wave and then my pointer finger to grip the ridge. And then I smooth the bottom and then I push with my middle finger to make the wave go in the direction I want it to go. And I keep that same motion throughout my head. I go from side to side of my head, and that is how I get my waves to connect to each other. Instead of just doing one side, then the back, then the other side, I just go from side to side.
So right now, I'm pretty much just doing that smoothing thing that we was talking about earlier. I'm taking my finger or a comb, whatever you feel easier, and I'm just sliding the wave in the direction that it goes and smushing using the combs and I'm smushing the ridge together. The comb on the bottom of the ridge is going to be going one way and the comb on the top of the ridge is going to be going one way, but smushing it together like a sandwich and just smoothing it all out, smoothing the gel out, making it look smooth before we go up under the dryer. So now I'm opening the dryer. This is like at the 20 minutes of me drying, as you can see, it starts sealing. And you spray you some holding spray on it, you know. <laughs> but I sit up under the dryer for about 45 minutes. You want, like I said, I use that gel, so you want it to dry. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel.